You know, sometimes we buy fragrances just for the memory factor, or there was an important event that happened during the time that you were wearing a particular fragrance that just makes you keep it in your collection or revisit it. And this fragrance right here, I haven't smelled since I believe 2008. South Beach, Miami trip, and we will go down memory lane while I reopen this shit, cause I hope it brings back memories. Let's roll my motherfucking music cause I'm drinking some whiskey, sitting in Versace, reminiscing about my single days. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is this year, boy. C3U to the B to the A. I believe it was 2008 or 2009. Ja, the bald headed, weird looking individual with fentanyl on his head that you've seen on my videos quite a number of times, his 21st birthday. Ja's 21st birthday, we decided to celebrate it in South Beach. Miami is my second home, and I've spent quite a number of years going to Miami, considering all my family is in Miami. So it was me, Ja, and my boy AG, and we went out to Miami, us three boys, to spaz out, and spaz out we did. I mean, the debauchery and levels of <laughs> was next level. And one of the fragrances that I didn't bring, AG brought this fragrance, and I ended up beasting on this fragrance the whole time, is Marc Jacobs Men. This shit, I ended up falling in love with this fragrance while I was there, and I wore it consistently. Nights out at Wet Willies, going to Fat Tuesdays, picking up prostitutes, everything that we did, you know what I'm saying? Ripping lines, walking the beat, whatever it was, I ended up reaching for his fragrance and using it on a consistent basis. Now, since that trip, I haven't owned or smelled this fragrance, so I don't remember how amazing it'll be now since the nose has developed and shit has changed, so I, I don't know, but looking at the bottle right now, wow, man, this shit just, Here's the bottle. Here's the Marc Jacobs man bottle. I don't know why, there's a picture floating around. I gotta try to find that, that there's this bottle, a fucking Fat Tuesdays cup empty, a bunch of change, quarters, dimes, nickels, or whatever, that I don't know what we were using or what we had it there for. A bunch of cell phones and cash everywhere, not to mention other stuff that I don't wanna incriminate myself, but it was all over this fucking table, and this was the go-to for me and AG going to this shit. Now, I'm really excited, inclined, and fucking nervous to smell this shit, cause it's just been so long, and I hope it's still good, man. I really hope it still does something for me. I'm not even gonna sniff it from the bottom. I'm I'm gonna just spray it directly on skin. I don't wanna smell it from the nozzle, and I just wanna see if this shit brings me back to naughty South Beach. Let's see if this shit is still good. I'm not saying wow because of the fragrance. It's not a bad fragrance at all, actually. But I'm saying more wow because, man, let me tell you. I had this white linen shirt on with these fucking loose fit joints looking like I have a moose knuckle and some weird cowboy-ish boots on walking South Beach like a fucking tourist considering I've been there like my entire life. Wow, this shit just brings me the fuck back. Talk about bright, basic, but fucking nice, clean, fresh, very bright, slightly tart and citrusy. So good for the hot weather, but for some reason, I'm getting a bit of dirt. A little bit of a of a grimy little bit of a dirt vibe, kind of BO-ish in this fragrance. It's striking me like Middle Eastern, like, um, um, what's that shit? Cumin. A little bit of cumin vibe. Very fresh, aquatic, bergamot, some lavender-y kind of. Powdery, fresh, really fresh, very bright, very citrusy, but I don't recall it having this kind of, I wanna say it's cumin, but it's a little bit B.O.-ish. There's a little bit of a base underlying B.O. vibe here. When you go on a fucking boy's trip and it just, fragrance has that capability to bring you back to that time where you were just doing fuck, and I mean fuckery. Popping bottles, we went to, what was it, Club Bed at that time? Man, 
some shit I can't even say on camera because my wife sees this shit. She gonna be tight. But I'm gonna tell you, three boys, young men out in Miami doing the most is what this trip was and what this fragrance is. Very nice fragrance. The cumin note is very surprising that I don't recall this being a note that popped up at that time. It's definitely super fucking present now. But this is all about memories and I think this is actually a very, very nice warm weather fragrance. Not necessarily appropriate for now, more for that warm weather vibe. But for me, this is absolutely a ball sprayer. Wow, man. Man, if I could tell you some story, I might do like a Patreon story, maybe with Ja himself, having a full-blown, unedited, uncensored conversation of that trip, because that trip was epic. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Have you guys smelled Marc Jacobs? Man, again, fresh, aquatic, citrusy, slightly cumin, little bit of B.O. base, but here is for the summertime vibes or warmer weather. And actually a very pretty fragrance. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game, smooches. Cubano, 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 what's fresh, who's best, one of them's gonna pass the test, Cubano. For the fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag, when it's time to call back, for the rough rugger that raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>